Sorry, mate. I just had a had a bit of a deja vu there. That was weird. <laughs> Shall I explain what it was? Okay, mate. That'll be interesting. I don't know. It's like I was. It must have not been me because someone was like narrating to me the uh, the downfall of Reggae. <laughs> and like he something like he was complaining about nobody appearing in the chat uh and all the people who were on his side before then turned against him and didn't want to help him anymore and you know the the visual content of that thought or what has happened or whatever is exactly this kind of stream loadout mate with uh, you with your with your laser eyes in a chat box alongside it Right, okay. So maybe I'm sort of... This is the bit that, that is sort of... Will be used this in... Is the downfall of Vega. Documentaries for years to come about the oh, downfall of... I mean, you know, I could I could do the documentary myself, to be fair, actually. Mm. Yeah. Madness. Right. So what? what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, I thought maybe it, it would be interesting, mate, to ask you to run through your YouTube subscriptions and talk a little bit about <laughs> okay. each YouTuber. I mean, miss any out that you don't want to mention. But... Okay, mate. I'll go. That, that's actually a good idea. Okay, so I'll go through an alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. um, first of all is... Wait, I'm not sure... Okay, well, first of all, it's um, We Blue One Brown, which is a... Cool maths channel. Pretty cool. Nice. Nice. And next we have a channel which I don't really watch very much and they don't really upload very much. But it's a channel that um, makes these uh, Michael Rosen YouTube, YouTube poops. Brilliant. Um, and that channel is called 256 Pi And I guess they're okay. Next, there's a seagull, Overwatch watch player. Ah, uh, well, seagull. Now, now, he, now he plays Apex Legends, and I don't watch those videos. This, this reminds me of what happened to uh, Chief Pat, mate, when he used to make those uh, those enjoyable Clash of Clans videos. Yeah, and, and then Royale. then he stopped Clash of Clans completely. He did Clash Royale, and I enjoyed some of his oh. videos. His his Let's Play Clash Royale series was actually the the inspiration behind the original name for the beginner account let's play yeah. battle cats so uh, there you go there's reggae stealing from people more popular than himself <laughs> once again um True. but but then um then chief pat stopped with all of that um oh hi sparthro long time no see bonjour um and uh, then he started doing it was like Brawl Stars, and I was like, I don't care about uh. this. <laughs> um, my highlight was uh, was when he did this stream, uh, this like go for broke stream, which was brilliant. Which he was trying to get into like, do you remember when they used to do those challenges, mate? Like twenty wins, and you're only allowed two losses, and then if oh, you yeah. got it, you got into the big oh. competition. Well, back in my day, it was twelve wins. And Three losses. Oh, no, no, those are the normal challenges, mate, but it was a special one. Yeah, oh, right. For, like, proper, like, Clash Royale League or something. Like, oh, if you right. got it done, you'd be physically invited to it. Oh, yeah. And you had to be over 16 mm. to uh, give it a go. Anyway, uh, highlights <laughs> of that was that um, Chief Pat said, I'm going to go for broke, try and get it done, and I'm going to uh, keep going uh, either until... I don't know. I think it was he just keep going. I, I don't remember no. what it was until, other than until he got it. But he never got it. But anyway, I watched a good few hours of that, and it was it was good seeing <laughs> him try his best to get through all of that, even though he didn't manage mm. to. And uh, I I made him laugh with one of my chats, which I was just I was elated by. I was a nice little fan moment. But then, then Chief Pat deserted us. Best ever Chief Pat video, yeah. mate. I don't know if you remember it. Um, was. Mm. Uh, Chief of Clans, that pilot episode for the animated series. I did not watch that, mate. I'm not really interested in an animated Clash of Clans series. Honestly, um... mate, I, I, I'm going to have to suggest that you watch it 
only the first one though when the rest of the series finally got made it wasn't very good uh but um i mean that chief of clans is is brilliantly funny uh and you know what's just brilliantly brilliant mate Sparthro has reignited our yip de doo uh leaderboard there we go uh by subscribing at tier one for the second month thank you very much Sparthro. Very much appreciated indeed. Yee yee. Indeed. Oh, yee. That's another thing the cool kids have probably moved on from. Do you remember yee, mate? Have I killed mate? What's happened? Oh, no. Mate's got the green circle going around him, but... Oh, hang on. I know why this is. Fear not, mate. It's the I show you breaking again. I just forgot that it it, it would do that. Uh, do, do, do. I'm a file. Can you put documents in me? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Excellent. Right, we're back. I was just saying, I don't remember people saying ye, but. I do remember. Me, he. <laughs> I'll get back to that in a sec, mate, but another brilliant thing has happened. Oh. Gudra Ninja has subscribed with the Prime. Thank you very much for swinging your Twitch Prime subscription my way. Very much appreciated. Um, oh, hey. No, but don't you remember ye, mate? Surely, you know. Oh, yeah. I remember the meme, yeah. Yee. Oh yeah, I wasn't suggesting that the cool kids actually said okay. yee. Um, Fair enough. There was once this excellent video though, which I'll get to again in a second. Sparthro has populated the chat with something fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad you're back, Sparthro. <laughs> Thank you. You've cheered us a thousand and fifty bits, which is pretty incredible. I, I looked through my, my Streamlabs widgets, and unfortunately, there didn't seem to be a way to kind of gradate the um, the way that the, the notifications come up via Streamlabs for like more bits, having more exciting sounds and lengths of time that they're on, which is kind of a shame. But thanks ever so much, all the same, very much indeed. Um, and so this excellent video, mate. It was um. Uh, I mean, it's very hard to describe. It was a, a mix of this this random man talking, but he was edited sort of so it's rhythmically of a song, and the song was um, uh, "Crank That" by Soldier Boy, um, and and it just had "Ye" uh, going throughout it, and it was called "Now Watch Me Ye," and oh. I, just, I I enjoyed it very much. That was a um, that was a quality meme. It was it was, yeah. it was good. I enjoyed it. And wait, how did I get on to Yi? Because someone subscribed saying Yi Yi. Ah oh, yes, it's far for a subscription. Right. Okay. <laughs> um Oh my god. Speaking of that, um Sparthros <laughs> She does Mate Yeah Mate, it's the stampy one. <laughs> yeah, I know. People have been saying that. To be honest, I'm I, I'm I'm very happy with that because as you know, I, I respect Stampy deeply. Yeah. So I'm yeah. sort of I, I seem to inherit different laughs every now and then. Um like a, a while ago I, I, I had a, a a Jimmy Carr laugh for a while, so <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um and I just seem to get different laughs. A stampy laugh at the moment. It's not deliberate. I just seem to yeah, laugh in different ways. Um, but that, that's certainly either way a happy laugh. Wow. Thank you, Sparthro. Once again, 1,050 bits. We may not have many viewers, but we have some just terrifyingly good generosity there. Anyway, mate, we got a bit distracted. Yes. I, I will <laughs> bid uh, Pikason a good night. Um... Here's a tip I was reading about today because my sleep's terrible and I'm trying to improve it. Associate your bed with sleep and sleep only. Don't watch anything when you're in bed. Don't read anything when you're when you're in bed and 
you know, if you're rich, have your bed in a separate room to where you do anything else. If you're not, just, you know, don't read or watch anything while physically in bed. There's a little little tip there. I mean, I read all these tips, but I'm still bad at sleeping. But I don't know, mm. maybe that could help. Uh, so, um, yes, absolutely, mate. We did certainly get off track. Uh, <laughs> Sparthro Sp- wishes them good night. I don't know if he's wishing us good night. I mean, I, I I don't know who it's to, but another thousand and fifty bits. I mean, that's just that's intriguing. That's like Forty pounds. Oh, oh. Sorry, mate. That must, that costs like forty pounds or something. Um, in total of those three, probably yeah. Yeah. Which is madness. Wow. Amazing madness, though. Glorious madness. So. We did get a bit off track there, mate. I, I'm quite... I, I am really glad I thought of talking about this. We can finally talk about stuff we watch without it just being me yeah. talking about something I watch and you saying, don't watch television. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, right, continue then, mate. Okay, the next one on the list is Brian Kepler plays Hearthstone. Um, to be honest, I haven't really watched that many of his videos recently, but occasionally if I'm bored, I'll watch a couple of them, you know. Um, he likes to play kind of crazy decks sometimes, or sometimes he doesn't. Yeah. That's, um, that's fair enough, mate. I'm, I'm going to go off track again. I do apologise. That's uh, okay. But Sparthro says it's only £18 mm-hmm. for 1,050 bits. Well, firstly, thank you very much for clarifying that because it, it will make me writing down the um, how much the oh. donator has uh, spent on the donation chart more easily. Um, and, and also, I mean, wow, only £18. I mean, it, it honestly would now would take me at least two, if not more, videos to get there. Um, I'll probably just reveal what I earned there, but anyway, you know, the revenue's down the drain. <laughs> you used to be able to easily get that in one video, but times is rubbish. Uh, not on the streams, though, apparently. I mean, only. That's madness. I would never consider spending £18 on anything except for sort of like a huge purchase that's supposed to last several years, to be honest. So, like, I mean, that's amazing. I, I promise to spend it wisely, and by spend it wisely, I mean put it in the highest interest savings account I can to be able to uh, help myself live off uh, this money in the future. Certainly not going to be spending it frivolously. Thank you very much, Sparthro. I mean, that's amazing. 18 pounds of time is was, is simply mind-blowing. Anyway, wonder, mate. Um, yeah, I, wonder, I was going to segue. I wonder if mate can blow our mind with uh, yeah. more of his subscriptions. This one might blow your mind, mate. It's a bit of a nerdy sort of channel called um, Harry KH. And I originally found this guy's channel when he made some videos about his evolution simulator thing, which had like weird, simple creatures that would try and like walk as far as they could, and like the the ones that did. Um, the worst would be like killed off, and then it would like create more from like the best ones, and then it would see like how they change over time and stuff. And that was kind of interesting. Um, he does a lot of like I don't know what does he do? Sort of kind of random videos. He does a lot of like a uh, machine learning sort of videos. So I, I'm just looking now. He's got like. Uh, Let's see. Does my AI have better dance moves than me? <laughs> um, AI lip reading. Creating my own customized celebrities with AI. AI learns to write rap lyrics. So kind of like AI videos is sort of what he sometimes does. So yeah, kind of interesting. What what were the leaderboards about? Sorry, mate. Leaderboard. All oh, right. Um, for that em- evolution simulator thing. Oh, what, Can Evolution say. Simulator is like a, a, a thing, like a game or something? Uh, yeah, that was just a thing that he did, and it was kind of, yeah, sort of like a simplified model of that, I guess, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the next uh, 
the next one is one I think I've told you about before, mate. It's casually explained. Uh, I've heard of them, I think. Yeah. So he uh, casually explains a lot of stuff. Um, and it's quite funny in that. Um, What's your favourite explanation, mate? Oh. It might be... I don't know, mate. I, I can't remember. It's some of these videos are like, mate. He's only done ten videos in the last year, so to be honest, it's been a long time since I watched some of these, and I can't really remember mm. which ones were my favourite. Um, yeah. Then there's CGP Grey. Yeah. Who has made some pretty interesting videos, of course. That's that's I guess that's our first crossover point. I'm not subscribed to him currently, but I have seen a few CGP yeah. Grey videos, notably for politics revision. Um uh, yeah. Because there's quite, oh, a, quite yeah. a few of them. Mate, I remember you telling me about these like voting systems and I was like, Oh yeah, I watched some CGP Grey videos about that. It's quite interesting. Absolutely, we did as well. <laughs> yeah. The politics of the animal yeah. kingdom, I believe it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, the next one is Circle Tunes HD, who makes kind of cool like cartoon videos in MS Paint, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and it's kind of funny, short videos. Um, then wait, let me look at this. Oh yeah, I subscribed to. Clickhole, who just make these funny satire videos, but they've only done like a few in the last year, so that's a shame. Um, then there's Dane, who's another Hearthstone player, and he definitely plays a lot of crazy decks and stuff. Quite interesting. Mm -hmm. The next one, mate, I know you know about well, Dino Blast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, right. I I I do love a um a mixing up what someone has said uh, video voice yeah. voice remixing I guess you call it um it's it's great I mean you know I I I'm very happy with my still with my effort uh, the Daniel Stone LED light bulb. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hang on, I've had an idea. Oh. Spotter has shared another, another thousand and fifty bits. That is incredible. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, right. Okay. So what I want to do is look for it. I don't know about in dollars, but they're quite expensive for. A simple light bulb. I want to share if you suffer from epileptic fits, you might not want to watch this. Hello, 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 hello guys, this is Dan from my own very new YouTube channel, Daniel Stone. And today we're going to be reviewing a YouTube channel, Daniel Stone. These yeah, things okay. you can buy from their website, Daniel Stone YouTube oh, channel. It's a smart YouTube channel product called the Daniel Stone LED bulb. <laughs> The Daniel Stone shop, I think DanielStone.com. They're about 50, 60 pounds and they're quite expensive for a simple YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> with these, you can control them over the internet with 50, 60 pounds with a phone, iPad, or even Bye, on your computer. I've got so a much. widget, 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 widget. I can click it, click it, click it, widget, and then widget. turn off the Daniel Stone LED bulb. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Daniel Stone YouTube channel and maybe a quick review on the functionality of them and how reliable they are. Pretty unreliable. So this is the Daniel Stone LED bulb and I control it with my phone. Now I'm using the HTC One V which is actually a phone, iPad, computer, lollipop. You can use the Daniel Stone YouTube channel on most phones right now. It's quite easy to control on the app. The way it works is random count about 50%. Pretty unreliable. <laughs> the Daniel Stone LED bulb. It's a bit too white for my liking. A load of multicolored LEDs in there, as well as some really bright white LEDs. I can also do effects. So if I was to turn up uh, hmm. to the Daniel Stone YouTube channel, my favorite YouTube channel, totally broken, it's not working anymore. 
So just to finish off this review, I've got to say a few things. Daniel Stone com the daniel stone led bulb the daniel stone shop daniel stone youtube channel pretty unreliable we're gonna try and get it fixed yeah thanks for watching guys it's been dan from the daniel stone channel and i'll see you guys next time definitely still one of the best things i've made uh, did that actually come up mate uh it did i mean i'm not sure if it was just my internet but a frame rate seemed to be like one frame every two seconds or something Oh, that's a shame. I mean, that, that, I don't know, my computer definitely struggled a bit, so it's probably that. You know, you know why, mate? I think it's because I've set a high keyframe interval, so I oh, thought that right. wouldn't cause any problem, but it looks like it has. Anyway, um, I, I do, <laughs> I do love the Daniel Stone LED light bulb. Uh, I'm really happy with it, still. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a massive lie. Uh, really, like like what Dino Flask manages to produce, Jeff saying, because Daniel Stone's website is danielstone.uk, not .com. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. The, thank you for reminding me of Dino Flask there, mate. Yeah. Uh, to catch up anybody who's coming here recently, which is, I mean, unlikely, given it's Thrilling Wednesday in, uh, well, it's not Battle Cats, essentially. Uh, but welcome, DJ, who I guess is our one person coming in. Um, we are going through well mate is going through is uh mm. who he's subscribed to on on youtube and uh reaching dino flask reminded us of um well reminded me anyway of uh, the daniel stone led light bulb and so i felt i had to uh had to cue that in as a, a laggy vt which uh which which we all enjoy right so yeah let's let's keep going mate yeah, we're only on the D's, mate, so we've got a long way to go. Have we got a long way to go? Well, could I could I briefly try and uh, improve the stream then, mate, if that's all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of crinkles in the background. Um, because I fear that when there's gaps in, in what we say, it's just kind of a bit unprofessional. We want kind of like a nice, what we call, noise floor. But like not like the sound of a room, but just like some some nice crinkles tunes. Uh, let's get them sorted. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll go on to the next channel, mate. Um. If that's okay. Yes, except I don't know. There's something very peculiar happening. Oh. Oh no, no. I think it's just my computer being loud, but it shouldn't be h higher volume than the base volume because of this. So, right. Could you do a voice check, please, mate? Orange pineapple. Might turn it down slightly. Immortal Nyanko has come in and said, "No maths today. What a shame." I actually suggested the idea of doing some maths to mate, um, and he, he sort of responded with a kind of unimpressed silence. So yeah, I, I, huh? I was just stunned in the silence. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll have to give it a go at some point. Um, but anyway, we've got some crinkles in the background now. <laughs> DJ has done <laughs> the same thing. Oh, I do. So oh, I wish I could be as popular as Stampy because my laugh does sound like him. Um, mm. me and inheriting laughs, honestly. So, um, I don't know if you know, mate, the DJ does this mm. thing where, uh, he, he, he sort of simplifies somebody's name and it's just irrationally funny. Like, uh, the, um, <laughs> uh, electro swing artist Jamie Berry, uh, DJ calls him, um, uh, James Fruit. <laughs> which I just find really funny. And it, he's just named Daniel Stone Dan Boulder, which, you know, of all the years of school, nobody ever called him Dan Boulder. So <laughs> no. that's uh, DJ's already come up with a new one, which is, of course, quite impressive. So, mate, um, uh, yeah, continue on. Crikey. I mean, if you've got a long way left to go, my subscriptions yeah. are not going to seem like an impressive list. Are they not? Okay. Um... Well, I'm also subscribed to Dino Flask's second channel, which is only uploaded um, three videos on. Uh, and then there's 
Drew Gooden, who is probably one of my favourite YouTubers at the moment, who makes very funny videos about stuff. Like, um, sometimes he'll, like, watch YouTube videos, or he'll, and he'll, like, you know, say about how, like, stupid it is and stuff. It's a bit like a better version of Pyrocynical or Mimulus or something. <laughs> a lot fu a lot funnier than any of, and not as insulting. So, um, so yeah, great. Yeah, great I, um, I, I revisited Pyro relatively <laughs> recently. Um, when I when my memory of uh, him was uh, traumatic or otherwise uh, triggered, um, and uh, I went back to watch a couple of his videos, I I actually genuinely impressed by Pyro's kind of long projects. Like I don't know if you've seen them, mate, but he did but one on like um, Pets Cop definitely comes to mind. Oh, like God. that that was a very good Pyro video, um, and then uh, Cuphead he did one on that. He did one on Far Cry 5. He's done one on Far Cry 3 that's over two hours long. Apparently that's like an actual video I heard from someone, which is madness. I mean, that is crikey. I mean, what is there to say about a game? A lot, I guess. And I was watching when I gave him a brief revisit, uh, one he did about um, a sort of YouTube TV show terrible thing by, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the mate, Liza Koshi. I, I think I've heard that name before. Yeah, I'd heard the name. Anyway, he was taking that apart, and I was saying this in another stream, but he he had this most amazing way of actually analysing the, the kind of the textual qualities of it, like he was a, a film and TV student or whatever. Like, talking about stuff like, you know, actual specifics about camera angles, movement, and lighting, and all sorts. And and I, I, I liked his general messaging throughout it as well, that it's harmful that kind of Liza Koshi's messaging is man bad and <laughs> white people bad um and the, yeah. there was one very good character within it uh which is like the the male friend of of liza koshi and um he should have his own show and you know what a terrible terribly unrelated title i <laughs> thought it was about in general like youtubers getting onto tv because it was like when a youtuber gets on tv and it was like at like I didn't know it was Liza Koshi's face, but it was someone's face, which was hers. And, and then, like, a, a Rotten Tomato splat. Um, oh, yeah. Which, you know, I, th I think his thumbnails are generally actually quite bad. Um, and, and the title was was not very well gauged. But the video, I enjoyed it immensely. Um, I, I laughed a lot. And Pyro's referencing as well. I mean, I, I reference things sometimes, but Pyro backs it up with, like, epic visuals. <laughs> I, I especially like the moment where he introduced that that little snippet that everyone takes the mick out of of uh, when he did voice acting for, for Hunt Down the Freeman. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, I, I enjoyed that immensely, but Pyro's kind of normal output. The problem is, is that it doesn't seem focused on anything in particular. My, my favourite Pyro video, as you probably know, mate, other than the long ones, is uh, I, I Called the Boss Baby, OMG, He Answered. Because um, we were with David, do you remember when we made Desper Cynical? Oh, mate. Oh. Well, David got rid of that, and I'm so sad. I really wish, I wish we it was feasible to carry on with it. It would just be amazing. Um, but we 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 teamed Pyro's Boss Baby video <laughs> with oh, yeah. Desper Cito. So it's like, hey, I'm doll. What are you doing down there, son? I found the, uh, 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 uh I found the, uh, 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 hey, Abdul. What are you doing down there, son? <laughs> it's fantastic. There's, um, there's a little clip of it on, um, on my Twitter, deep in the archives. Um, and oh. that's, that's all I have left of it. I don't know where my files of Desper Cynical have gone, which is, uh, very sad indeed. But anyway, that was great. And my, that's my favourite Pyro video, because it was, it was, well, it was funny. It referenced a lot of stuff. I mean, he, he had a sort of game at the start. I didn't know what it was, but he made kind of allusions to um, uh, the, the Boss Baby videos via it that I thought were quite clever. Um, <laughs> and then at the end, he had this kind of uh, this this uh, <laughs> kind of morose like walk through Dark Souls that was paralleling fixing YouTube. <laughs> And it, it was great fun. It was great fun. But I mean, I, I watched 
a normal type horror video just after that Liza Koshi one. It was just like, Ninja is not a gamer or something. And I thought, excellent, talking about people not being a gamer, like me. Um, but no, it was just some rubbish about just generally commenting over like a silly video he did trying to cut bread properly. And then a video about, um, you know, do, do you remember, mate, like, I don't know if you heard about one of these people is not a gamer and they've got to guess what, what who it was. Um, some sort of like terrible oh, version right, of yeah. the cube or something. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. And um, well, the, I think what Pyro genuinely did there was just mix the two things into one title, which I think is terribly misleading. And, you know, titling and thumbnailing like that is the same reason I left being subscribed to um, Film Theory and Game Theory, definitely, and also Will and E. Um, and I guess to a small extent Pyrocynical as well, which I think is, is kind of a really shame that, that he titles videos like that. Um, but you know what? It, it, his videos, and especially like the references within them, don't fail to make me chuckle. But I mean, what terrible way he promotes his, his, his video title and, and thumbnails. Mm. I, I don't approve of that. But I will admit to, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago having a just, it was just after I finished Gravity Falls, I remembered there was a film theory on it. So then I watched that. Uh, and then I watched a lot more film theories uh, uh, in one night. And um, sort of... This is what I did with Chief Pat as well, actually. Occasionally I'd be like, I really want to go back to Chief Pat. I don't have that anymore. But then I'd watch yes. like a few Chief Pat videos. And I had that. I had like a film theory late evening. And, you know, credit where it's due. The videos are fantastic. It's just clickbait. In the title and thumbnail and i can't stand it i think it's such a, a an immature and not okay way to promote yeah. your videos and it's not something I, i'm i'm willing to support and i really wish youtubers yeah. weren't like that i anyway. just hate yeah i just hate when you can't tell what a video is gonna be about it exactly. reminds me of back back when pewdiepie was playing minecraft I would watch those Minecraft videos and that sort of got me into PewDiePie a little bit. But you could never tell. Like, often you would think that one of his videos would be a Minecraft video, but then it would be like, the why or whatever. Mm. But he just mentioned Minecraft in the title. And yeah, like, exactly. You can never tell what his video is going to be about. So I just got bored because most of them aren't that interesting anyway. <laughs> What's up, Spoons? It's Spoon Deep Eye. <laughs> I once said in a video. I mean, of course I did. Anyway, continue, mate. Continue. Yeah. I shall continue, mate. Uh, so the next channel I'm subscribed to is Firebat, who is another Hearthstone player and another one, but I don't really watch very much as well. You'll notice that as a theme. Yeah. Um, I, I After <laughs> you've finished, mate, I might have to talk to you about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um... Then I have, then there's this other channel that I'm subscribed to, which is um, Yoscast Games Night. But the only reason I'm subscribed to them is for the poker videos, which they tend to only do like once or twice a year. Um, so I'm not sure why I'm still, still subscribed to them, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I have a channel then, that, mate, to be fair. Then there's a recent. I can't remember if I ever unsubscribed and then resubscribed, or if I was subscribed the whole time. Uh, but this next channel is Grade A Under A, who has, well, he, three, three weeks ago he made a bit of a comeback. Oh. He's done uh, two videos recently. Wow. And he says he's here to, you know, stay and do YouTube and stuff. Uh, still waiting for another video. It has been over a week since his last one. Um, so yeah, he made pretty entertaining videos. Yeah, I remember Grey Day under A. Yeah. I hope he doesn't get too involved in the drama like he did before. Hmm. Yeah. Because like, that kind of ruined it kind of. It's supposed to be like light-hearted videos, but then he made it less, I don't know. But yeah. Anyway. Next. Ah, yeah, this is a good one. Next. Internet comment etiquette with Eric. Um, he makes 
kind of funny videos where he makes stupid comments. He watches, I don't know, there's always some kind of theme to the video and he'll like watch videos about some kind of theme and uh, and then he'll like read silly comments and make silly comments and sometimes there'll be random sketches that are kind of funny and it's a pretty funny channel. Uh, is he the one, and I mean, I don't know if my referencing is going to ring any bells anyway, who kind of looks like the nostalgia critic and is sort of really nasty about comments sometimes? Mate, I don't know who the nostalgia critic is. Well, no, exactly. That's 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 what I was fearing. Um, <laughs> let, let me look up, mate. I'll, I'll see... I'll see if it's, um, I'll see if it's who I was thinking of. Have a look. <laughs> the, the revenge of 5G. Brilliant. Oh my god, he's been sponsored by Honey. Why would you be sponsored by Honey? Why not? Just Honey, honestly. <laughs> what? Um, no. No, it's, it's not. Mm. It's not that person, so... I think I've heard of the channel though. Yeah, he he's appeared on uh, Jack's films videos a couple of times. Hmm. It... <laughs> um, speaking of Jack's films, that's the next one on the list. Uh -huh. I remember being introduced to Jack's films by David back in the day on the bus. He showed me one oh, of wow. the Yai episodes. Crikey. Um, I, I really admire that Jack's Films is still doing YouTube and uploading fairly regularly. Exactly. It has been for such a long time. It's great. Um, yeah, he makes really funny videos. Um, oh yeah, then there's James Meach, who did those scam videos, you know. Yes, yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, I saw the thumbnail for it anyway. Yeah, what happens when you reply to a spam email? Yeah, there's, I hope you've watched his spam email videos, mate. Well. I haven't, mate, but when... Mate, you've missed out if, so much. If you get onto to my, if we get onto my list, I do watch something very similar. Okay, interesting. Um, right, the next channel on the list, mate, is called Jan Misley. And it's a bit of a... I sort of recently found this channel and it's not something I was ever interested in. In fact, no, mate. I found this channel a while ago and I think it was from a, a video he made about, like, the origins of the letter W. Um, and that was kind of an interesting video. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of forgot about him. And then, more recently, a few weeks ago, he uploaded a video about... Um, Hangman and sort of kind of a funny analysis of Hangman and I thought this guy is pretty funny and I had a look at his channel and he makes kind of weird niche videos um, which is also kind of nerdy about uh, <laughs> about conlangs mate constructed languages Ooh. And I was surprised I was interested in this, but it is actually kind of interesting the way he talks about it. So, like, um, there'll be some that are designed to be, like, international languages, and there'll be some that are, like, uh, some used in uh, TV series or, like, uh, Game of Thrones or something. So to, like, create a fictional world. Um, and he, he he has a series called Conlang Critic where he critiques Conlangs, and it was actually kind of interesting. Even though I had li I knew literally nothing before I found his channel, but it's, he's made it kind of interesting. Mm. So yeah, that, that linguistics, mate, is something I think yeah. is actually a a topic that like a lot of people, me, and it seems you as well included. Yeah. Didn't realise you'd find interesting, but is like yeah, really interesting. Exactly mate. exactly, mate. I was thinking the same thing. Mm. Yeah, so, so that's kind of interesting. Conlang um, critic, you say, mate? Yeah, mate. It's a series. 
Yeah, and his channel name is Jan Misley. <laughs> Ah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'll uh, that that's intriguing. I'll have to have a look at that. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Oh, um, not too uh not too big a YouTuber either. I like that because uh, yeah. uh, you'll see a theme amongst mine is trying to support smaller people rather uh, than right. adding to the viewership of already huge people who don't really need my views as much as the smaller people do. So Yeah, exactly. That's interesting, mate. Right. Continue then. I will continue. The next one is Jay Foreman, who is another funny YouTuber. Jay Foreman, I knew I recognised the yeah. name, appeared in a video that I saw relatively recently. And everyone was like, wow, it's Jay Foreman. And I mean, I don't know any more about him than that, <laughs> but I know I've seen him by proxy. Yeah, yeah, he is very funny. Um, yeah, he makes funny videos. He's got quite a lot of videos about London and other stuff, I guess. Oh yeah, and maps, <laughs> I guess. Wait, un Unfinished London, is that him? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I've mate. seen thumbnails for that, that's also, yeah. 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 I recommend those videos, mate, they're very funny. Alright. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, the next channel is Caplamino, which is like a um he he makes these amazing marble things, so he'll put like a marble in and it will just you know go around and it does all these tricks. Marble and stuff. runs. Yeah, marble runs, that's it. Nice. And they're they're just kind of mind blowing really that amazing. Um <laughs> Mate. Oh, <he's> only, <laughs> I just tried to look up unfinished London, and my my media A level came back to haunt me because I accidentally searched up unfin unfinished sympathy, or, or yeah, I think that's what it is by Massive Attack, which was one of the music videos we could have studied in media. Wow! <laughs> I didn't even realise I was looking up the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear! Right. So this Caplamino guy. He only uploads very rarely, he's only done two videos in the last year. Um, but they're always really good when he does upload. So I figured there's not much reason not to subscribe. Um, the, let's see, the next channel is uh, Max Frost. Who, well, he was, um, do you know Street Smart, mate? I don't think so, so. No, he went around um, asking people questions, you know. Um, yeah, he's just a funny interviewer who just goes and interviews people in a funny way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, ah, then of course there's Number File. Oh yes, absolutely. Of course. Um, and then... Oh yeah, then there is there's Overwatch Contenders and Overwatch League. Brilliant. Brilliant. What's Overwatch Contenders, mate? Ah, good question, mate. It's um, players who are trying to get to Overwatch League, but of course, uh, people looking for people to join their Overwatch League team, you know, they need some way to see who's the best ah. that they should make join their Overwatch League team. So that's where Contenders comes in. It's the best players who aren't in the Overwatch League. I see that, mate. It's like for, for Formula One, um, which I guess would be mm. what I'd reference to, um, it's like uh, GP2, well, formerly GP2, now Formula 2. Um, is is where they often get new drivers in through. Mm, I see, yeah. So a feeder uh, series, basically. Yeah, mate. Yeah, basically, mate. Yeah, like like the clan, no plan B. Back when we had those. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then there's Penguin Zero, which is um critical. 
that's who he is, it's critical, and he's just, sometimes he makes videos talking about stuff, or sometimes he just uploads stream highlights. I tend not to watch the stream highlights because they tend to be kind of boring, but I watch, I usually watch his videos talking about various stuff in a funny way. Um, yeah. Then... Next. Then there's... Oh, of course, mate! Next up, it's Pixelite. I'm still subscribed to them, just in case they upload any videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna lobby Daniel Stone for a bit of that, then. Yeah, mate, yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. I would not want to miss out, mate. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um... Ah, yes, then there's Platchat, which is an Overwatch podcast. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Um, and then... I mean, yeah, what, what, yeah. what do they chat about, mate? I mean, I know Overwatch, but it does it vary a lot, or is it sort of like the meta, mostly, or whatever? Mostly about, mostly about Overwatch League, mate. Ah. Yeah. Um... Then I'm subscribed to Play Overwatch, which is just the Overwatch mm. YouTube channel. Um, oh yeah, then there's this YouTuber called Primer, who has only uploaded 11 videos, but somehow has 800,000 subscribers, just because they're very um, interesting, informative videos. Uh, mm. Yeah. I don't know, he, about, I don't know, they tend to be kind of, these also seem to be kind of simulation videos, like, he's got one called Simulating Competition and Logistic Growth, Simulating Natural Selection, Simulating Supply and Demand, and uh, stuff like that, so yeah. 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 Then... I'm not sure why, but I'm subscribed to Pyro Cynical. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure again. I'm not sure if I'm I was subscribed the whole time because I'm pretty sure I unsubscribed at some point, and then maybe I resubscribed at some point recently. I guess I don't know. An opportunity but for you to uh, clear out your subscriptions, mate. It is, mate. Yeah. 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 It is. Um, then next on the list, of course, is Reggae. All oh, right. Uh, um, do do you? I mean, not to put you on the spot here, mate. I mean, yeah. you know, I'll preface this by saying, don't worry, I wouldn't watch my own videos. Um, <laughs> do you watch many of my videos, mate? I make sure to watch whenever it's not a battle cats video, mate. Thank you, mate. I think you're about the one person on my channel who would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you watch yeah. a video about Formula One, mate? The old video, as long as you don't start uploading loads of videos of Formula One. Ah, um, well, I mean, <laughs> I don't have a plan for loads, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I can see you at least on the first one, eh, mate? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'll definitely watch the first one, mate. Don't worry about that. Well, um... I'm glad for that, mate. You, you... I mean, although you can't... I mean, actually, my viewership's going down hugely, so maybe eventually you will balance out the uh, the side of people who only watch Battle Cats with just you who only doesn't watch Battle Cats, but, and then, then it'll be sort of balanced views between the two. It'll be one view for each. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm grateful for that, mate, because I, I reckon, you know, very few people uh, would, uh, would mm. view my channel in the same way that you do. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the next uh, YouTuber on the list is one that I only subscribed to a few days ago, who I only found out about a few days ago. It's Ryan George, who makes uh, kind of funny videos. And um, immediately after I watched his one video of his, I immediately subscribed because I knew that like, it was just an amazingly funny video. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to make sure to watch all his videos in the future because they're really funny. Um Aha, then there's Seth Bing. Oh yeah. I'm subscribed to him just in case he ever uploads 
anything interesting, which he hasn't been doing recently, but oh well. Oh. <laughs> I think I follow him on Twitter. Like, the stuff he yeah. does is, is very interesting. Yeah. A few months ago, he was doing this um, Magic the Gathering thing. In Minecraft, I saw that. Yeah. Mario the Gathering, he called it. Yeah, Mar Mario the Gathering, yeah. I just wasn't. I watched a few of those videos, but it just wasn't really that interesting um, to me. Our first chat yeah. in about 10 years, mate, um, asks mm -hmm. us do I have permission to post links? Um, the chat won't let you, I'm afraid. It'll just turn into asterisks. Like, like Thanos has sort of turned your, turned your <laughs> link to dust or something. Uh, yeah. I'm afraid. Um, right. I will carry on. Hmm. Then there's Shadow Beats Inc. who makes Town of Salem videos. Which is a game I've recently started playing. Um, so yeah. Then, uh... Ah, then of course, Silent Gnome. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to be subscribed just in case Silent Gnome ever uploads a non-Battlecast videos. Non-Battlecast video. Mate, please just unsubscribe from Silent Gnome now. I'll, I'll tell you if, if a non-Battlecast video turns up on there. <laughs> oh, okay, well, you better let me know, mate. I'm relying on you here. I, 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 will, <laughs> I, will, I will let you know, most certainly. Okay, thanks, mate. Um, <laughs> then there's could I, line. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Could I jab in there briefly? We've got 40 yeah. bits. Cheered to us by Gudrun Ninja. No message, but thank you very much indeed. Anyway, carry, uh, well, I mean, edge back a couple of seconds and then carry on, mate. Yep. Like you're rewinding yourself. Yep. Skyline, who used to make very informative Overwatch videos. Oh, and then he took yeah. 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 Were they in the league somewhere, mate? Sorry, mate? Were they... No, no, I don't think the Overwatch no. League is where I know them from, but he... I feel like you, either you or David might have mentioned them. I would have probably mentioned Skyline at some point. That's probably what it was uh, then, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so more than two years ago, he used to make Overwatch videos but then he stopped and took a long break and did some uh stuff and then he came back and he uploaded not that many he uploaded let's see 11 videos after he came back and then he left again and those videos he uploaded were like more general videos not just related to overwatch Wait, um, was Skyline yeah. kind of the, the in-depth looking into, like, heroes or something? Yeah, so he was doing... Let's see, he was doing... Um, Overwatch tips, and he would, like, watch pro matches and give, like, analysis of what they're doing and stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've, I think I'm following Skyline on Twitter, mate. And he said that he was going to make Valorant videos, but he's not yet. Um, so while I'm waiting for him to do that, the next channel on the list is a channel that makes uh, informative Valorant videos. That was a lovely was segue crazy. there, mate. I know, mate. It just so happened that in alphabetical order that they were next to each other. Um, this is quite a small YouTuber with only 7,000 subscribers called Spin Crash and he makes uh, Valiant, relevant uh, tips which are quite good I like that you're supporting a small channel like that mate, makes me feel warm yeah, inside mate. Yeah mate Then um, the next one is Stand Up Math <laughs> makes great math videos Whoa. Hey. 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 Then there's The Foreheads, which is a great podcast, which I would recommend. And they talk about random stuff and they're kind of funny. Alright. Yeah. Hungry Boys cheered us 15 bits. Thank you. Sorry I'm late, it says. Uh, well, yeah, there might not be much time left in this world, but, uh, well, this stream, individual stream <laughs> world. 
<laughs> but it's mates as well, mate. still got some subscriptions to go through. Yeah, I do. Uh, not actually that many left. Um, the next one I'm just noticing now is a channel that hasn't uploaded in eight months called The Penniless Player, who used to make sort of like Hearthstone videos, not gameplay videos, but I don't know, various different videos. I'm not sure why I'm still subscribed to this person. I think it's just in case they ever do upload, up, upload again. Mm. Um, Aha, then there's the odd ones out. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he makes great, great funny videos and stuff. Um, Go on then, I'll think... test your knowledge, mate. What do you always yep. need to do? Uh, wear your seatbelt. Yeah, there you go, mate. Excellent. Okay. That took me probably longer than it should have. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, like, brush your teeth, no. <laughs> um, um, then, for some reason, I'm subscribed to this channel that does card tricks called Tom Matrix. And I guess they're kind of good card tricks when he shows you how to do them, which is kind of interesting, I guess. And he only uploads every couple of months or so. Um, then there is Triforce, which is another podcast, which is another quite interesting uh, and funny podcast, which I would recommend. See, this is interesting, mate, because the thing I was going to ask you before I thought to ask you about YouTube subscriptions was if you listen to any podcasts, and lo and uh, behold, you really do. Yeah, mate, I have been more into that sort. Of... You know, it's interesting, mate, because yeah, me cause... too. Mm. Mate? Yes, mate? You said it's interesting, mate. Oh, right, sorry, mate. I said it's interesting, mate, because me too. I think my, my microphone oh, might right. have done a silly there. Yeah, it did, it, it, mate. Well, um. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, I've been, uh, been getting into a few podcasts, which I... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're rapidly running out of time, but, you know... I'll, oh, I'll don't men- worry, mate, I only have uh, I'll mention one day. Right, go for it, mate. Um, so there's Trolldom, who makes cool Hearthstone highlight videos of funny moments and stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ah, then, oh yeah, then I'm subscribed to Trump. Not Donald Trump, but <laughs> Trump, the Hearthstone player. <laughs> um, so I haven't. Actually, I haven't watched a Trump video in a while. Yeah, it's been like three weeks, so maybe I should watch more Trump videos. Thing is, mate, I'm subscribed to way too many Hearthstone YouTubers, as you probably noticed. Yeah. But I tend not to watch much. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and then I'm subscribed. For some reason, I'm sub- subscribed to the Valorant YouTube channel, I guess. <laughs> um. And then finally, it looks cast Lewis and Simon, and I enjoy their Gmod TTT videos, but I don't tend to watch their other videos very much. How many subscribers are so, they at, mate? They currently have 7 point eight. Sorry, mate? 7 million, mate. Alright, hasn't moved much then. No. Yeah. Know the feeling. Well, not I don't know the feeling of seven million, but there you go. Um Well, that's that's brilliant, mate. That is a huge <laughs> list. That took a lot longer than you thought it would, didn't you? Uh just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um what I'd say is I, I once watched a video by someone called uh Emp Lemon and they they use this term called uh, empty subscribers. Never since then, I thought, oh yeah, you should only really be subscribed to someone if you're going to watch like 80-90% of their videos and, you know, be there and watch it when they come out. If you're going to only watch them occasionally, you shouldn't be subscribed to them. You should only really sort of look up their channel because being subscribed to them 
and not watching them or only watching them very rarely is being what he called an empty subscriber. You're inflating their number of subscribers relative to their views, which makes them look like a dead channel, which <laughs> sort of sends them into uh, uh, another thing uh, Ant Lemon called, which wasn't connected, but I'll connect them, a downward spiral. Um, <laughs> and I thought, oh yeah. Uh, and he'd, he'd say with the sort of, um, the classic sort of epic commentary YouTuber ear rape, can you unsubscribe? And um, <laughs> I'd, maybe, mate, maybe I feel like that's mm. what people should do. If you, if you I, don't really watch someone, prune down your subscriptions. I, a lot of these channels, I do tend to watch most of their videos. No, I know, um, Matt. I mean, you're. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I have time yeah. to get on to discussing mine, uh, but um, I I place a lot more emphasis on watching television yeah. than you do, so you'll have a lot more yeah, time for true. YouTubers. So I mean, I'm I'm not saying like prune down the ones that you do just, watch. Keep watching yeah, them, but. I was just going to say, mate, mm. like, even if I watch only, like, one in every three videos or one in every four videos, I still don't want to have to search up every single time. I might, like, forget I, about... I mean, I think one one in one in four is probably fine, mate. Fair enough, mate. Right. Because that's consistent yeah, viewing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But I guess if I was, like, if, if my brief occasional watching of, of Chief Pat um, was coupled with me being subscribed to Chief Pat. Uh, I, I guess that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of you're an, you're an extra number, which sort of it, artificially uh, it turns out brings up the hope of the creator that more people will be watching their videos when in fact oh they're not. That's actually quite sad and quite miserable. Oh look, reggaet has got sixty two thousand subscribers, but his videos struggle to get about four thousand. You know. I mean, apart from me going down the pan, you know, it was always kind of a problem and is a kind of problem for a lot of people that you uh, just um, get a huge discrepancy and uh, probably due to having a lot of empty subscribers, which is why yeah. I asked you if uh, if you watched me, mate, not for a sort of um, <laughs> ego building, but just to check that you weren't sort of a, an empty subscriber. But I can understand you holding on, waiting for that non-Battle Cats content, yeah, exactly. for which I'm just hugely grateful. Um, just massively grateful. Uh, I'm gonna check, mate, if I've got enough time to talk about my subscriptions, uh, or if I should just, okay, uh, okay, stop the stream. So, uh, entertain people while I'm gone. Uh, th don't say anything too rude, mate. Okay. Anything too rude, mate. Uh -huh. Hello everybody. Oh, half the viewers just left when they get left. Feels bad. I don't know what to say to myself. I'm currently thinking about which YouTubers I unsubscribe from. It's a difficult decision. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Right, I reckon I've got just about enough time to do it. Good, mate. So, this is going to be quite difficult to do alphabetically because I, I haven't clicked on some of my subscriptions, so some of them are one and some of them are not. Uh, I'm trying and try and be professional. Right, okay. So the you first. Do it alphabetically. I just did it because that's the order that it's in. For me. All oh, right. Well, my mine are alphabetical, mate. But the ones with a video yeah. that I haven't seen being on the channel page yet have a one next to them, and they goes to the top. Really? That's interesting. Is yeah. that like some kind of setting? I don't know. I don't think I ever changed anything. Mm, that's weird. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and interpret it alphabetically. Yeah. So. Oh, you don't have to. Uh, my first channel, not the first channel I subscribe to, but alphabetically. Um, a Cosmo. Now, a Cosmo is a music artist, and you'll see a, a running theme here. I try to support uh, music artists, and a Cosmo is kind of similarly underviewed um, to me. 
like he gets very few views but makes some some lovely pieces of music i was humming one before i put the crinkles one on mate which was his uh windmill isle from sonic which is uh a nice bot i'd recommend that to you in fact i'll uh copy link address and i'll send that to you now you can enjoy a bot okay mate there you go um and he has Thank very you. few subscribers um so i try and support cosmo and you know the music's great within itself like i'm not just there to support cosmo even though that's kind of this is good. yeah it's good isn't it mate? the the but that was what encouraged me to have a look at cosmo was how under supported he was but also yeah you know, good music within itself and just sort of supporting the small and a cosmo dropped into a stream that i was doing once which was oh really what a what a fan moment someone had that sounds uh, amazing seemed to have told them that i was uh singing their praises and i mean a cosmo is great we like a cosmo uh next mate is atomic shrimp now we love atomic shrimp quite ballooned in uh popularity uh, through his scam baiting videos and this is what I was saying about similar to that ah. James Chappie um, he may, makes these these excellent very funny videos um, very very well gauged he never click baits his videos either uh, when his scam baiting videos he realised they're really popular he'd preface every single one saying my channel isn't all scam baiting I do all sorts of things and really he does he has a series called weird stuff in a can where he, he looks at cans of strange things in them. My favourite being Huit La Coche, uh, which is Mexican corn smut. But I don't know what that means, but it was it was really interesting right. to learn about. He like he did these videos which combine two things I love, which is budgeting and food, uh, and doing one pound for, for three meals in a day. And I, I just love that. And he so cooking things and eating them is something I love seeing him do. He has these brilliant scam baiting videos where he's sort of like has uh, created these characters out of scam artists he's met and sort of um, got this person on Fiverr to make a song from a scam email he got. He said, you will not refer to the soul named Barry Stare John Warosa. It's, it's fantastic. I love Atomic Shrimp. Yeah. A very kind of honest chap uh, making... Uh, lots of these brilliant videos, very well informed, and always trying to inform his audience as well. Um, and you know, I mean, I I wouldn't usually watch a long YouTube video, but that he had like an hour long video of him walking around um, with a sort of ration pack, eating from that during the day, and I was hooked. Honestly, it was wow. um, it's it's great. I I really like uh, really like Atomic Shrimp. Uh, next up is. Chain Bear, very narrowly, alphabetically. Uh, Chain Bear is principally a Formula One YouTuber, um, but they yeah. do some kind of very good graphic stuff, and they seem to have a handle on understanding the rules and stuff like that. So it's quite an interesting learning process watching uh, watching his videos. I mean, some of the opinions he comes out with I don't always agree with, but actually it's... Um, it is interesting to uh, to see them. I mean, he sometimes makes these satirical videos, which I I really don't like. But like the the yeah. informative ones are um, are very interesting. Uh, so that's that's enjoyable. And you know, you see also a common theme in these YouTubers is that they don't post hugely often, um, uh, so yeah. that I can sort of come to them uh, and sort of keep up with all their videos and be like, what. Well, deem as like a i don't know a quote unquote proper subscriber watching all of them and you know take them all in because yeah. it's not like a daily let's play that's why izuma in the main channel form is not on my subscription list because i know i wouldn't be able to keep up even though mm. i love azuma um so next sort of in that vein and i do apologize to him because he is senpai it's <laughs> chorzy <laughs> uh, and Chorzy's great, love Chorzy, but I don't keep up with his videos nearly as much as I'd like to, which is a shame. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick at his Subnautica series because something about that is just so immersive and enjoyable, and it really feels like he's telling a kind of proper story of him being terrified by that exploding fish. So I'm definitely what? <laughs> yeah, I know, terrorized by it is. 
Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right, Gooseworks. Now, Gooseworks is another music artist, but also they've made the only webcomic I've ever read because I thought I'd, I'd have a look at their webcomic. Um, and they put a piece of music attached to it. Both of them very good. It's called Horde of Heroes. And she makes great music and also actually does animations as well, both with the, the music and like she's done some even in of themselves. And uh, I'd, have you heard of Has Been Hotel, mate? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, it was it was a big thing, at least for a while. And uh, Gooseworks collaborated on doing the music for that. And, you know, that's great. So Gooseworks is a is a brilliant music artist and originally recommended to me, I think, by Junfish Sones so long ago. Uh, of course. Um, next up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Insane in the Rain music. Oh, Carlos. What a legend this man is. He is a great musician. Again, never clickbaits his videos, puts a huge amount of effort into them. Has these beautiful kind of camera angles and, and so many different shots of him and the collaborators doing music. And he's a lovely chap as well. And just all round pretty brilliant music artist. Like we love, we love Carlos. So I'd, I'd recommend Insane in the Rain. Um, next up. H-I-J. Right, this chappy here. Uh, James Hoffman. So he is a coffee YouTuber. And, <laughs> wow. you know, when you get coffee YouTubers, they, 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 go, they go ham into their coffee. And let's be fair, you know, I won't beat about the bush. He does as well. He does all sorts of... I mean, he even has a series called Weird Coffee Science, let's be fair. And um, the, it's, it's very kind of in-depth... But the video is very high quality and uh, very interesting to listen to. And I mean, I like coffee, so it's sort of an enjoyable kind of uh, I get loves food and drink, watching about food and drink experience. I mean, actually, it's the only um, food or drink channel that I am subscribed to. But yeah, very kind of slickly, slickly produced videos. And uh, I've learned a fair few coffee making tips off of off of old James, which helps when you're making yourself your coffee, and you and you like to enjoy it. Uh, H I J K L M. Right, Magic Animal Club. Now I smiled, mate, when you said about YouTubers you were subscribed to, just in case they ever uploaded again. Yeah. Magic Animal Club is one of them. Uh, relatively recently, I was lucky enough to notice in my sidebar that the Magical Animal Club podcast had had one new episode um, and within it they said they're not going to do it regularly anymore which I thought was really sad because I love the fact that Stampy and Squid very briefly brought back a, a podcast in these corona times and I'm now subscribed to them just in case they cheekily bring out anything else um, and if not it will sit there and I mean I don't have to scroll anywhere to see all of my subscriptions so you know I'll know if it appears and not taking up too much space waiting to find out uh next is michael kinney uh, to be honest i'm surprised this chap hasn't uploaded since i subscribed to him but i've subscribed because in in one day of watching a, a few of his videos is kind of very slickly nicely made videos i learned a lot about iMovie despite using it for ages before that um i mean i now know what the precision editor does what a madman um and he's great I like just about the the best kind of tutorials that I've seen so I thought well I'll keep subscribed hopefully it comes up with new tutorials and I'm still waiting on that but nice very nicely e explained easy to understand tutorial videos from him now mate a channel like uh, you mentioned mm -hmm. uh, of um, not uploading much but having a lot of subscribers uh, mustard this one is called and i got into them from watching a video about a tilting train that, that never kind of uh took off um and they're sort of these kind of engineering history videos i guess you could say um and they get loads of views each and they're produced kind of very far apart from each other because they take ages to make and they're very lovingly produced like proper mini tv documentaries like mustard is is very good for that and they're very interesting videos 
concise, but you learn a lot and they're a lovely visual experience. And you learn about a lot of kind of wacky engineering projects that I never knew existed. Like there are these things called Ekrano plans, mate, which are like giant kind of plane hovercraft things that used a massive load of engines on a kind of uh, hydrofoil plane thing. I don't know if hydrofoil is the right word to use, but it would power it up and then it would sort of skim along the water really efficiently like a like a skipping stone um and you know it they kind of got defunded but not because they were useless they could have actually been revolutionary but you know the as we know the soviet union kind of wanted to do other things um in the cold war times but yeah it's really interesting to learn about stuff like that and other stuff so that mustard is very interesting uh next up is Yes, Kumu. We love Kumu. Originally introduced to me by Lucas IV using King Dedede theme. Kumu does oh, yeah. remixes of uh, lots of music. It's usually sort of your Mario, your, your Wii. Um, wait, hang on. Mario's a subsection of Wii. Anyway, you know, Kirby, Animal Crossing, other stuff like that. Um, lovely kind of light-hearted musics that are very nice to listen to. My personal favourite... Um, athletic theme remix, which is wonderful. In fact, if you don't mind, mate, I'm going to send that to you as well. Okay, mate, yeah. Uh, apparently, Kumu's music gets used a lot in people's Let's Plays. Um, um, well, I guess Lucas the Fourth's originally, right? Uh, Sim Gratina. We love Sim Gratina, and don't say that we don't, because we do. So... Uh, Sim Gretina is purveyor of uh, the um, Peggy Suave Electro Swing series, which combines Electro Swing songs that are brilliant with a brilliant kind of lore and story world and sort of these little stories written in the description and a drawing on each video. There hasn't been an upload in six months, which concerns me, uh, but yeah. Sim Gretina's music's great and the stories that Sim Gretina tells are great as well. And I can tell DJ isn't around in the stream anymore because DJ would have definitely crashed into the chat going Peggy, um, because we we both uh, we both enjoy a bit of Peggy Swab. Um, next up is is a channel I'm I'm new to and actually I've only kind of subscribed to out of uh, um, a university recommendation. Um, they're called This Guy Edits and it's about like kind of editing theory, um, but it it kind of makes me feel watching the ones I have a little bit inept um <laughs> and um useless uh, oh. uh in in my editing um, which combined with the low views kind of makes me think i probably shouldn't be watching this even that might benefit my editing a bit i you know i kind of yeah. feel a bit rubbish because there's uh, apart from the levels of technical knowledge past iMovie there's editing theory and you know lots of people who can edit out there and i think oh well I might actually never get a job in that and you know uh, maybe I'll, I'll pursue with it a little bit more, but so it kind of worries me a bit. But I've just noticed on his sidebar, it says channels I watch, and Atomic Shrimp is one of them. So, you know, there's a bit of connection, uh, which is exciting. Yeah. Next up is possibly my favourite of them all. The legend, the lovely man, informative and fantastic. It's Tom Scott, who you know oh, I mentioned I see, a yeah. fair bit. We love Tom Scott. I mean, say no more. Tom Scott is informative, he's interesting, his videos are well researched, I mean research is something I hate to do myself because I'm useless at it but he does it so well and then he puts all this stuff together through such a wide range of subjects as well. Uh, it's yeah. amazing, he does like computer stuff, engineering stuff, landscape stuff and I was mentioning linguistics mate, um, has a series called Language Files which is brilliant. Um, and there's so much interesting linguistic stuff there. Like, I definitely recommend that to you if you find the linguistics interesting. Um, yeah. And also, he sort of makes those in collaboration with people with a podcast. And you like podcasts, mate? Uh, called yeah. Ling Lingthusiasm, um, which I started listening to and is actually also quite interesting. I'm on an episode about pronouns, and, you know, who knew there was so much you could hear about pronouns, but there's a lot. Um, then getting towards the end because i hear i need to get towards the end um untasfasled fast fast it's actually very difficult to say anyway 
they make um, these kind of wonderful Formula One memes um, by using, uh, well, usually racing simulators, but he made one that was especially funny called uh, If F1 Drivers Played Euro Truck Simulator. Um, and it brings like these sort of memes from the F1 community um, out of races, like um, uh, teams ordering their drivers about. So memes like Valtteri, it's James, and you know I won't expect you to know these memes, obviously, but <laughs> it brings them into ridiculous kind of situations um, and uh, sort of puts a bit of real life in them, like uh, a computer shuts down and it goes to a voice line from an F1 driver saying. Aha, uh -huh, you, you may have a, a virus in, in, in your computer. <laughs> and things like that. And they're fantastic. I, I enjoy them very much. They're, they're very well made. Um, because F1 memers basically need to, need to do this stuff. Because Formula 1 management, apart from being scummy with their contract with Sky Sports, really don't let people use F1 broadcasts in a kind of copyright, morally fine way. And I think it should be legally fair use as well, but they sort of shut down any of those videos. So people need to kind of use racing sims to make the memes, but Untas Fastfold does it very well. Um, then, of course, penultimate, Izuma says. And I said I'd not subscribe to Izuma because I wouldn't be able to keep up with the videos he makes, but Izuma says, brilliant, kind of podcast, basically, excerpts from his streams where he talks about a topic. Izuma is very well considered. I've taken a lot of things I now do in my life as advice from things that Azuma does. Azuma's great. Azuma doesn't clickbait. Azuma is just a lovely person with a lot of interesting and informative things to say and uh, a nice sort of friendly sense of humour. Uh, and then finally, Wolfgang Law, my favourite electro swing artist, and a, sadly not very popular. But that makes me even more proud to be supporting him. I love his yeah. music especially much. Um, mate, have you heard of the coffin dance meme? Yeah. Right, okay. Now, this is the third and final video I'm going to be linking to you then. Um, yeah. Wolfgang Law made a, a wonderful remix of the music used in that, um, which I especially like. So, there you go. There's a link to that. Astronomia, it's called. Oh, nice. Um and uh, that concludes my subscriptions. Uh, I think I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna put this one up as an archive, mate, because hopefully uh, I I've got a tab open for Jan, Missily, oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah. Unfinished London, and I'm give, gonna give both of those a go. And hopefully uh, yeah, people yeah. watching this would find some inspiration from what we watch as well. Yeah. But unfortunately, um, mate. mate. Um, Sorry, Apparently mate. they won't have to watch you, mate. Sorry, mate? Apparently they won't have to watch you, mate. Yes, absolutely, mate. Next Thank you. Um, I, have else to watch I mean, I would genuinely encourage them to unsubscribe if they kind of very rarely watch my videos and just sort of come back to the channel and tune in when they feel like it. But rather than inflate my numbers and make me think I'll get more views than I actually do, just, you know, leave if you're not that interested. It's fine. Not many people are. So, um, mind you, if not many people are, that's all the more reason to support people, I think. But equally, if you're not interested in me, don't feel like you have to be. Um, I would love to talk more about this, but I fear that I must go now. Uh, but thank you for running me through that, mate. That was very interesting. And I hope this has sort of become interesting as a sort of general product as a whole. So, uh, yeah. thank you. Thank you for all of that, mate. I'm going to have to do the same thing where I say goodbye to you on Discord and the stream at the same time and just go immediately. But I uh, look forward to speaking to you and uh, and the viewers once again. Thank you, mate, for popping along to this stream. Thank you, viewers, for staying along to this stream. And uh, see you later. Ta-ra. Goodbye, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, mate.